Okay, moving on, the general case of a block on a ramp. So in the space provided, draw a free body diagram of the block. Okay, so we've got the normal force on the block by the ramp. We've got the vertical component of the weight force, which you guys saw from the previous video, is uh, W cosine theta. And then the horizontal component, W sine theta. Okay, derive an expression for the acceleration of the block. So we're going to look in the x direction, because that's the way the block would be going, it would be down the ramp, right? The block's going like this. So we're looking in x, saying net force in the x is equal to max. The only force that exists in the x is the horizontal component of weight, so w sine theta equals ma. But w is equal to mg, so really we have mg sine theta equals max. We're solving for a. So we get acceleration is equal to g sine theta. Showing that it's dimensionally consistent, we just plug in units. So acceleration would be meters per second squared. Meters per second squared sine theta is uh, dimensionless. Does it make sense when theta is zero? So when theta is zero, then sine theta is zero and acceleration is zero. And yes, that makes sense because then the block would be on a flat ground and not accelerating. Does your expression make sense when theta is 90? Yes, when theta is 90, sine of 90 is 1, so you get acceleration is equal to gravity, and a 90 degree angle in that ramp would mean that the block is just falling, right? So that's like free fall. So yes, it should have an acceleration that's equal to gravity.